15 exactly. Put him in the cooler. God, that's a nice one. I told you, man. This place is awesome. I'm not changing my lure either now. Man. Oh, oh, I gotta lip it. I gotta lip it. And I gotta lip it now. Oh, shit. I gotta get in the water. This is a monster. Oh, yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Now that's a crappie right there. No, he's 16. Hell yes, folks. That's what I come here for right there. A real Southeast Missouri slab crappie right there. He's at least 15. He might go 16, though. I am keeping him. I ain't even got a stringer, but he's going in. It's considered trophy, but I like 15. I'm happy with it. Doesn't get any better than that, folks. One day I will catch about 50 of these things. Adventures that where they stock it up above here. I never even was expecting to get this at all. This is only my third brown trout ever. Let's see if I can pick him up by his mouth. Oh, I think, boy, they got some rock. Uh -uh. Very nice brown trout, folks. That's why I come here to Tennessee though to get something different. It didn't take me no time at all. I think it's good that you stay here because you got sun. You gotta turn it on. It's filming. Oh, I'll take the picture from the camera for you. Already, it's already filming. I like that fish. It's okay. Is that a, oh my god that's about four or five pounds oh my god that's like the size of my biggest one ever and i fished for them my whole life well we gotta take pictures of you that is you'll never get one that big again not in missouri they they don't even get that big in missouri my god I fished for smallmouth my whole life. I've only ever gotten one that big, and she gets. He's he's probably five. We're gonna have to weigh him. He's about five pounds. My God! Nice smallmouth, huh? Man, that's a monster. See the smallmouth take off here. There he goes. Go away, buddy. Yeah. Care if I catch fish or not, just the beauty of this is strictly amazing. Wow, this is so cool! <clears throat> Don't get hung up! Don't get in a rock! No, no, no! Oh, no! bigger because the current's so strong. <laughs> oh, I ain't got my pliers either. Folks, I just oh, caught a hybrid bass. Uh, my scale broke, unfortunately, earlier, a few hours ago. But I bet he's every bit of nine or ten pounds. It's hard. Really? Oh my god, they're saying 12 pounds. Uh, caught him below Percy Priest Dam on a silver uh, bandit crankbait. And I snagged him in the fin. It took me about 20 minutes to get it in because of him being hooked where he was. I've been striped bass the Percy Priest Dam. Oh, I got one. 
All right, another yellow bass, folks. The bandit crankbait is paying off. He's a beautiful one there. It's not They're not big, but I think they're more pretty than white bass just for the fact that they're yellow in color and their stripes are also a lot darker, as you can see. He's also a male milking. Look at sper sperm all over me. Man, whoa. My God. Yeah. That might be the biggest one of the day right there. Actually, according to his stripes, that is a hybrid. That is a hybrid. Look at the stripes, how broken they are. That's a small hybrid. No wonder he fought so hard. Yeah, definitely is. That's a hybrid, no doubt in my mind. Folks, I just caught another hybrid striper. We've caught two of these today. One of her uh, first ones, and then I just got one. They're not usually big up in these rivers because they like to hang up below the dams. You can tell by their broken stripes. Oh man, that ain't a bad one. This is the best lake I've ever seen in my life as far as size. I've never caught more than seven in one day, but every one is huge. It's just the weirdest thing. White drop. Male. Hell yeah. Boy, I was frustrated with him. <laughs> God, folks. Oh, it's a monster. It's a monster crappie. We gotta measure him. Oh, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah. That's what I came after, folks. Right there. Oh, yeah. I think I got, I think I got 16. I think I do. Look at this. It's at least 15, but he might go 16. It's possible. Let's get him measured. All right, I gotta get the measuring tape. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Oh man. 15. <laughs> wow. Right when I just said they ain't biting anymore. Oh my God, they're all in that brush. I'm telling you, you just gotta. There's no way to get around getting hung up over and over. Another 15 inch, folks. I can tell he's not 16, but he is 15. Two 15s in one day. Make sure the camera's on. I'm going to hold them both up for you guys. So we can get a good double take here. Actually, he's only 14. Look. Honey, he's only 14. 14. Yep. Uh, that, that 15 and a 14. The one on the right is the one I caught earlier. You can tell by his tail is about an inch longer. Nice. Gold and uh, real, just real dark. It's in a Ziploc bag. I also need the pliers. Unfortunately, he is not going to be, their teeth are worse than a pickerel. I'm scared to death to get this hook out. I can almost get it. That's not in here. That? That you no, know it's in there. It's in there. There's tons of Ziploc bags in there. There's like four or five different ones. That's why you're not finding it. Okay, I got it. That is a beauty. Yes, there you go. I cannot believe we just found a new spot for Sauger. I don't think walleye come up here, but Sauger do. They gotta be 15. He is 14. Yeah, nice fat one. We're gonna let her go. All right. Live to see her another day, hopefully. Fly right here. Whoa! That might be my record. Yeah, I gotta take him off above the canoe. That is, folks, look at this goggle. Oh! I got it, I got it, I got it. It's okay, it's okay. Folks, right here. 
I'm not gonna measure it, but I know he's every bit of nine, almost 10 inches. That is a goggle eye and a half right there. Man, I'd rather catch these than smallmouth if they're this big like that. My God, that is a big goggle eye. Almost as big as they get right here. This is actually a shadow bass, which are only native to the white, I'm sorry, the St. Francis and Black River systems. Anything that go in them two rivers, that is a beautiful goggle eye right there. We're gonna keep him. Oh yeah, it's big. It's a big pickerel, I think. It's the same fish. What is that? Is it? Oh my God. That's a five pounder. Oh, did you see its mouth? Yeah, that's a big one. Oh my God. What did I tell you? The bandit crankbait, man, I always, I always have it on. I never take it off. Man, I need a dip net. That's my biggest one this year. All right, folks, it finally paid off. That's why I always bring a variety of crap. Never rely on one thing very long. We're putting him in the bucket. She'll be proud to see this one. All right, folks, this is a, I'd say he's at least five pounds. He's got three hooks in him, so he's all right, as long as you don't break my line and go nuts right now. I have trouble picking him up because he's hooked on the bottom. And uh, folks, right before I hooked him, I cast it to the bank and he bumped it right when he hit the water and I knew that I should throw it right back to there and sure enough. I... Oh my God. Now that's a nice large mouth. <clears throat> Boy, that's the biggest one I've caught out of here. I've gotten a four before. This one's, the, I think he's four and a half. Maybe four, about four. Not as big as I thought. He's got the mouth of a five pounder, but the body ain't, don't match. Good God, what a monster. Got him. Yes, another small and another big one. I'm telling you, this three 14s in a row, folks. That's what I'm talking about. The monkey milk is becoming really good for me. Three 14 inches. That's the only three fish I caught besides the hybrid sunfish there and the sunfish. Long year. I was just working that in these big old boulders. Picked him off the, up behind this big rock right there. I had him the first time and I cast it right back to him and let it fall a little further and started vertical jigging it. All right. He's actually a little smaller than I thought. He's only about 12. He's about four pounds. Good, perfect eating size. Here, you zoom in on me. I'll hold him up. Folks, we just got our first flathead. It's 10 after seven, they're starting to bite now. I'm just using a simple rig, 25 pound line with a half ounce weight on the bottom. With Whoa. Oh my God, he's 17 inches. Yeah. Whoa. I'm gonna have to weigh him then. He's probably every bit of two pounds. I way underestimated him. I didn't think he was that big. 17, huh, I was way off, <laughs> yeah, put back two and a half pounds, one ounce under two and a half pounds, nice white bass, that's what I actually came after here was these in Buffalo, all right, camera off my head, it's already on, and you can just, you can kind of, it'll show what's on the screen probably, right on, showing it. Yep, it's showing. It. Yep. It's a nice black buffalo, dude. Yeah. We're gonna let her go. Yeah, look at that mouth. <laughs> this might be the biggest one I've caught of these. I don't uh, know. I caught a lot of them out of Mississippi when I was younger. Yeah, but... there's some in Duck Creek over there, dude. 50, 60, 70 pounds. Giants. Yeah. Nice guy. He put up a hell of a fight right in the swift water. I didn't think it was a large mouth at first till I seen him. Big old guy. I 
Actually, I got my scale with me. I'm going to weigh them. All right, folks, I just got a, another big mouth buffalo. This is the a decent one for once. He put up a fight. He drug me about 200 yards down river. Oh, thanks. I was going to come back and get it. This is a big mouth. He's, we're going to say he's eight, eight pounds. Uh, the reason he fought so hard and had me fooled is because I had him hooked by the tail. And it was in really swift water, of course, so they always feel a lot bigger than what they are. And uh, he ended up running every bit of my line out where I had none. Just It was all the way down to the knot, and I freaked out and took off sprinting down the rocks because I was worried he'd pull too hard and break my knot. But I was lucky enough to get him. Too bad it ain't a hybrid striper. <laughs> I got an eight pounder last April. Yeah, big mouth. Now, got him on a crankbait, just trolling and trolling over and over, making real long casts and bouncing the rocks on the bottom of the water column. And uh, you lose a lot of crankbaits doing it, but it eventually pays off. You can get spoonbill doing it. You can get hybrids. You got to use the largest crankbait possible that you can find at Walmart, which is the Strike King KVD, which is Kevin Van Dam series. They go down up to 19 feet, and uh, I recommend taking the front hook off of them and then you just cast that sucker out and just pull it as hard as you can until it bounces off that bottom and uh, that's how you get these fish. It's a lot of fun. They are one hell of a fight. I'll tell you. Nope, I got it. Alright folks, I finally landed him after about 15 minute battle. That's a little bigger guy than the first two. He's about... I'm going to say he's 11 pounds. Pretty hefty guy. So they're really bony. I'll go ahead and put her back too. See if I can get a bigger one. Last, last spring I was catching them 30 to 20 to 40 pound range. So this is, these are still small actually. Alright, a lot of fun. Fish number three. That might be a skipjack. No, it's a white bass. That might be a yellow bass. It is. All right, folks. She just got her first yellow bass of the day. Show it to the camera. Hold it up. Hold it sideways. She caught a yellow bass here at Kentucky Lake. Oh. Wow. That's a good size channel cat there. He's about three pounds. There you go. Man, that ain't bad for here. You want to put him in the bucket, huh? Oh, no, you're not supposed to eat him out of here. Finally. Finally, huh? Yeah. All right, folks, she just got her biggest channel cat ever, I think. Uh, we went fishing in the morning for crappie and uh, had no luck at all. I caught one warm mouth. We fished for three hours. It's a big guy. I bet he's damn near pound and a half because he's so bloated so that's four species we've got two rare ones already not bad at all that's what we came here after a good variety of fish in this river i tell you like i said you never know what you let me wash my hand real quick and then we'll get you Your very first carp and your biggest fish ever, probably, isn't it? I think so. It's five pounds. All right, folks, we got we're gonna zoom in on her very, very first carp and possibly her biggest fish ever. It's a common carp. I'm gonna just guess he 
he's about five pounds. I actually have a scale, but it's not really worth weighing. I know he's not more than five pounds, but I'm going to say he's right at five. Good, decent carp. She caught him on a night crawler. And uh, I just noticed her struggling up here, so I ran over. You know, he's about freaking seven or eight pounds. My gosh, folks. Look at this drum. He's eight pounds. My God. That's a monster drum. Wow. Do me a favor, make sure the camera is on. Can you see it, the screen on? Is yeah. it, okay. Well, I'm gonna put him back, but folks, that is a nice drum. Right when I was just talking about how good that bandit crank bit is, like I said, catches some big fish. I've never caught little fish on it. Very rarely. The, dr the drum was the drum was 13. All right, folks, she just got a nice, about a five to six pound, yeah, about five and a half, six pound buffalo. That makes 13 or 14 kinds for us. My God, 14 species of fish in one day in just a few holes on this nice river here. Talk about an amazing day. All right, folks, she just got her second buffalo. This thing is pretty monstrous. He's he's bigger than I thought. He's, yeah, he's easily five. Hold him sideways for a second, if you can, where you put your hand on the bottom, too. Good job. It's her second buffalo of the day. <laughs> your line. The line's probably weak now. Her second uh, smallmouth buffalo of the day. That is a... The other one is big. That is a... Large mouth, that's your biggest one. But the All right, other folks. one is easy to pick it up. She just got three personal bests in one day. This one's her large mouth. It's about three and a half, almost four pounds. Man, that's a hoss for in here. All right, let me. Good job. I caught two pass and no walleye. All right. Let... Hold on. I gotta land him first without breaking my, make sure the line don't break. Oh, remember how bad they cut your skin though? I really don't want to hold them because of that. She just got her very first bow fin. It's not a small guy. It's about, like I said, it's at least, I'm going to say five or six pounds. That's awesome, honey. Caught it on a lure. I had a gar on and I... Oh my God! Oh shit! Ah! ah! Got it! Holy crap! Folks, this fish pulled my pole in the water, almost. I didn't even, the worm didn't even hit the bottom. I just casted it. Oh my God! He's got me hung up. Shit. He's got me hung up. Okay, you got, he broke free. Did you see that? It wasn't even, I just set the pole down. I what, didn't even have the bell on yet. I didn't even set the bell on the re, folks, I didn't even, I was just getting ready to hook the bell up. Boy, they are biting this good. It, it literally just hit the water. Oh my God. It's a catfish too. It's a big blue cat. Oh yeah, we are on them folks. This is about a 10 pounder here. Oh, he's about 15. Oh my God. Yes, that's what we came here for. Yeah, what a beauty. Oh yeah. Make sure my camera's on and it's recording. Okay, good. Get. Folks, I've never caught a blue cat this big that fast like that. Literally, it didn't even have, you seen that what I was doing, didn't you? 
I just threw it out, set the pole down, and I grabbed the bell off the ground, and the pole just flew down the hill. Did you see it? It flew down the hill. Two more seconds, I would have lost my whole rod and reel, folks. It was about to pull it in the damn water. Oh my God. Here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, he's about 12 pounds. It's not a bad catfish. They're biting good. Yeah, I got the scale. Yeah, the scale and the uh, tape measure. I don't, I don't, you don't measure them by the length. You just weigh them. It's in the backpack. We got to pay attention to those other poles too. Boy, look at the slime he left on here. He engorged it too. Oh, he might go 20 or at least 15. Oh, yeah. He's about 15 pounds. Oh, go get it. The one on the very end. The very end. Oh, I can just tell you by looking. He's about three and a half, four. He's three and a half pounds. <laughs> wow. Don't, don't pull like that. I got it. That's a big, large mouth. Oh, my goodness. I guess she's wanting to go up and get the tape measure or scale. It's three pounds. You don't have to. It's no, that stuff's in the backpack. I can tell you, it's only about three. It's about three pounds, eighteen inches. It's only about three pounds. He's not as big as I thought, but he's nice. That's a real large mouth. That's why. Here's one way you can tell a large mouth is this flat overlay. They had the overlay flap right here. Ooh, we need the pliers, don't we? Uh, you left the flowers on that. Yeah, like an idiot. Well, I got that one. Oh, yeah. I'll just take a picture from that when I get to the computer. Don't, don't worry about that. Right before dark. Man. I'm, I'm coming with minnows. Yeah. I think there might be oh, just as big as ones. Oh, my, my. Pop off. We're keeping him. He's definitely 15. He's about 17 inches. All right, folks, I got finally got what I came after. A nice sauger anyway. It's not a walleye, but it's a decent sauger. Okay, I got it. He's, he's about eight, actually he's about 18 inches. That's a nice sauger right there, man. That's about as big as they get in these rivers here in Missouri, folks. Wow. Finally, I anchored in the right hole and knew exactly where he was. They love them drop-offs. That's a nice sauger, hun, look. Don't you think? Decent size. Open the bucket, we'll throw him in there. All right, folks, we're gonna keep this one. That's a good. After about a half an hour of just casting over and over, and I missed three of them, they, they're just real light ticks. This is definitely what I think it is. Yep, nice one. This one's about three or four pounds. Yes, oh yeah. Nice walleye, about 19 or 20 inches. Man, fucking nice. Finally, after losing about 10 jigs already, it finally paid off, folks. Oh yeah, I got him. He's hooked. He's hooked good. Oh boy, he's a nice one. It's the nicest one I've caught in many years. In fact, oh yes. Look at that beauty. Using a four inch yellow Mr. Twister tail with an orange jig in. They love yellow, they love orange, and they love green. Beautiful. He's got me beat by two inches. And that thing is the fattest one I've ever